Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this video is basically about installation and activation of our Vector Canary tools, uh, a demo version of that. There is no complex things here and uh, it is just going to be a basic installation part. So, but I just wanted to put forth that uh, a demo version of this Canary tools are available for us to practice and buying a license is never going to work out for me. So let's get into the video. Let's Google uh, Vector Canary and probably this will be a uh, listing as the latest version available. Then choose the Vector's official page and uh, we can see uh, a detail like uh, what are the features available with this release and uh, stuff like that. So let's navigate to the end. So the software is going to be around 3 gigs and uh, there is an option to download that too. So I have already downloaded this uh, software. Downloading might require a valid uh, login credentials because they will be forwarding a mail uh, that has some information about uh, uh, activation key uh, for this demo version like that. There are tons of library files and uh, kind of a manual will be there. So it's basically for the installation part. Let's open this and uh, check whether it got some kind of uh, any useful information. So, there's some configuration is listed here that we can check whether our particular Windows version is compatible with this uh, Canary's version. So that is one useful thing. And apart from that, there is not a uh, vital information that is completely related to the installation part. So we can uh, straight away install this software without any kind of uh, errors or something like that. Now let's run the application here and uh, just uh, do the kind of uh, basic navigation so install Canary and then uh, probably uh, it's a step by step process and uh, Okay, this is loading for some time now. Mm. Yeah, this is the window that will be coming after uh, loading all those uh, necessary things in the background. And here will be uh, a brief information about what are all the packages that will be installed during this session. So we can configure like uh, enable or disable and uh, decide whatever uh, softwares or tools that will be installed now. Just make sure you don't disable the license manager client so that is needed to activate probably it will uh, automatically install even if it is deactivated but uh, so like just uh, on a safer side we are not going to disable anything here And once we have chosen the uh, packages, we can proceed with the installation.
okay at last the installation part is completed and uh, after this we have to start the license client so this will um, like this is for activation of our demo license without activating we won't be able to uh, use this uh, version of it. I'll try to show you what will be there like uh, without uh, activating your license here let me open uh, a canary tool maybe and those it's an accept yeah so it prompt us to use uh, kind of uh, open the vector uh, license client so without that we can uh, give a continue but the uh, scope of working here would be a completely limited one because uh, already we are uh, going to use a demo version and uh, um, like even in the demo version if we are uh, trying to use that without a license it will be completely uh, a kind of a basic thing like that This is a system info uh, thing, like uh, we can proceed here without uh, doing anything. So just click OK and uh, proceed with your works. and you can see that uh, we don't have any kind of uh, options for the run so those things are grayed out probably we have to activate the demo license to do some kind of a basic uh, practice with our tools here okay i'll explain the activation part quickly here i have added a kind of a mail shipment for a reference and uh, i have uh, hidden the uh, actual key that I have received here. Now open the license manager client and uh, the activation part can be done either online or offline. So you can see that it is establishing a connection with the vector servers and once that is done you can enter the activate part like enter the activate and uh, provide the activation key here and press ok so that should do it so offline activation is just by uh, creating a file and uh, whenever the system goes online the vector will automatically check for a valid license and uh, that's how it get, uh, gets activated in the offline mode and that's all for this video guys hope you guys find this useful and uh, probably in our upcoming sessions we'll uh, cover some kind of basic uh, capital scripting so thanks for watching we'll meet you guys with another video and till then bye